Howdy, it's Jake with Green Pro. We're going to talk about an absorption bed and how that works. If an absorption bed is tied onto the back of your conventional septic tank and can actually be put behind an advanced treatment plant when needed. Uh, most of the time, the products that go on the ground are going to utilize some type of pipe or chamber that's got holes in it or access to the soil. So once that 75% drops off uh, of solids drops off in your septic tank, that 25% is going to go out to your field bed via gravity. This bed is going to be level where the entire yard is loaded at the same time and all of that water has got to be absorbed by the ground. So as you can see when you flush, that water just drips out of that 25%. It goes down into the soil. Sometimes there's sand that's added to this. Sometimes there's rocks that's added around this pipe and that water absorbs down. What we talk about a lot when we come out and we're talking about your system is the type of soil that you have. And we'll say sand is great, clay is bad. Well, we want to show you why that is and kind of zoom in exactly uh, why sand is so much better than clay. We've set up a small experiment here. In one, we have good old conventional slay uh, sand. In this one, we've got uh, a little heavier soil. As you can see, it clumps together a little bit more. This is probably the average soil we see. And then this next one, we have nothing but good old dense clay. Zoom in on the microscopic level for me, if you would. Clay's particles are really, really small. And as you can see, they're packed together really, really tight. And that allows this compaction to happen and it'd be really hard for water to penetrate through that. Whereas zoomed in on a microscopic level of sand, you can see how big those particles are and how water could move through that really, really easy. And we actually want to demonstrate that here now. As you can see here, we've got this small filter cloth on the bottom of each one of these soils. And we're going to pour water into each one and let you see for yourself exactly how that water moves through the soil. Here's sand, here's your water, and we're going to start pouring. We're going to pour an entire water bottle through each one of these samples. And as you can see, that water is moving really, really quick. And that's what you want to see. We're going to set this one to the side and see how long it takes with this sample to get that water through it as well. Do the same. Again, this is a good soil. This is a perfectly okay soil to absorb in that will absorb the water from the system. But as you can see, that's probably close to about half the rate of the water that's moving through this soil here. And finally, we're gonna finish. Finally, we're gonna finish with this clay here. We're gonna fill this up and you're just gonna see that this, it just doesn't work. We're actually gonna put the entire contents of that water bottle in there. Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. And as you can see, you're getting no absorption into the soil because those particles are just packed too close together and water can't penetrate them. So when we're out, we're talking about your conventional septic system and the type that we're going to say whether you need a treatment plant or this standard septic. Uh, you can see why clay soil, we're going to recommend that treatment plant for you.